Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Saturday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Working our way to 22.2k subs, so keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Uh, really good promos, guys, with FanDuel. New customers bet five, get 200 in bonus bets guaranteed. You also get a, a three week trial of NFL Sunday tickets. So take advantage of that in the description below. Other great promos as well to get you guys in on the action, especially for football season two. Um, yeah, we'll hop in, in here. Busy slate today to start out the weekend, starting with the uh, St. Louis Cardinals versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 180. The Cardinals plus 140 with the over-under at 9.5. Cardinals coming into this matchup 67 and 68. The Yankees 79 and 56. Pitching for the Cardinals is Kyle Gibson with an ERA of 4.54. Pitching for the Yankees is Will Warren with an ERA of 9.68. Gibson, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up seven runs, had two strikeouts. Warren, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up five runs, had six strikeouts. Both pitchers getting lit up here. Uh, Gibson, he's given up, let's see, he's given up 15 runs in his last three. Warren's given up 15 as well. So both pitchers getting toasted. Uh, Yankees beating the Cardinals yesterday 6-3. Cardinals 0-7 on the road against the Yankees. Now, they've really struggled on the road against the Yankees here. Uh, Yankees 5-1 and at home where they play well. I mean, you, you want you want to see, see Warren, especially for the Yankees at home, have a good game. Um, both pitchers just been getting killed here. So, we'll see if that holds up today. Um... I like the Yankees, though. Cardinals haven't been able to win on the road. Like I said, Warren can have a decent game. I think the Yankees will be all right today. I think I'm going to still take the Yankees at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Washington Nationals. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 125. The Nationals plus 105 with the over-under at 9. Cubs coming into this matchup 69-66. and 66. The Nationals 61-74. and 74. Pitching for the Cubs is Javier Assad with an ERA of 3.15. Pitching for the Nationals is DJ Hers with an ERA of 3.84. Assad, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Hers, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. Uh, the Cubs on a four-game winning streak. Coming off a Nationals win yesterday, 7-6. to six. Um, Yeah, you know, nice win for the Cubs here. Hers been good on the mound. Assad's been good as well. Um, nice cover from the Nationals yesterday. I still think they're good dogs again today here. Uh, kept it close yesterday. Um, Cubs are playing well, though. 8-2 and two in their last 10. I don't know, something about this series. I just think Nationals can hang. Hers has been really good. I still think I'm going to take a shot with the Nationals plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays opening up as home favorites at minus 120. The Padres plus 100 with the over-under at 8. Padres coming into this matchup 77 and 60. The Rays 66 and 68. Pitching for the Padres is Randy Vasquez with an ERA of 4.52. Pitching for the Rays is Shane Baz with an ERA of 3.48. Vasquez, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Baz, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs, had four strikeouts. Uh, Padres beating the Rays yesterday 13-5. A nice win for them. They are 4-1 against Tampa Bay here, 14-6 on the road. Uh, Baz coming off a good game, but his two games prior, you know, giving up three and four runs. Uh, Vasquez has been very solid. Yeah, I like you getting Padres as a dog today. Looked good yesterday. They've been good head-to-head. -head. I'll take the Padres plus one and a half on the road. 
Next matchup, we got the Boston Red Sox versus the Detroit Tigers. Detroit opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Boston plus 120 with the over under at seven and a half. Boston coming into this matchup 70 and 64. Detroit 68 and 68. Pitching for Boston is Nick Pavetta with an ERA of 4.70. Pitching for the Tigers is Tariq Skubal with an ERA of 2.58. Pavetta, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had two strikeouts. Skubal, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had eight strikeouts. Uh, Boston beating Detroit yesterday, seven to five. Uh, Detroit on a little two-game losing streak right now. Uh, Boston 6-0 and on the road against Detroit. Where they've been really good in that category. Uh, Scooball's been the better of the two on the mound here. Pavetta just consistently gives up a lot of runs here, which I don't love here. Um, I like Detroit to bounce back. I like Scooball on the mound. I'm going to take Detroit at home. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland opening up as home favorites at minus 170. The Pirates plus 140 with the over under at 8.5. Pirates coming into this matchup 62 and 72. The Guardians 77 and 58. Pitching for the Pirates is Luis Ortiz with an ERA at 3.36. Pitching for the Guardians is Matthew Boyd with an ERA of 2.70. Ortiz, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Boyd, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Uh, Pittsburgh on a four-game losing streak, coming off a Cleveland loss yesterday, 8-10. to ten. Uh, Cleveland on a two-game winning streak right now. Uh, Pittsburgh 1-10 on the road, where they've been horrible. 1-4 on the road against Cleveland. Uh, I like Boyd on the mound. He's been pretty solid for them here. And uh, yeah, Pirates just been really bad against Cleveland and a very bad road team. I think I got to take the Guardians at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Oakland Athletics versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Oakland plus 130 with the over under at eight and a half. Oakland coming into this matchup 59 and 76. The Rangers 63 and 72. Pitching for Oakland is Joey Estes with an ERA of 4.37. Pitching for the Rangers is Cody Bradford with an ERA of 3.31. Estes, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Bradford, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had three strikeouts. Oakland beating the Rangers yesterday 9-2. A disappointing game from the Rangers. Because, you know, Oakland's just 7-13 and 13 against the Rangers where they have struggled. Uh, Bradford, he's been decent. I mean, you're looking at a very even pitching matchup. Both pitchers giving up a couple of runs a game here. Um, yeah, with how bad the Rangers looked yesterday. Uh, don't love that. Even pitching matchup. Give me Oakland plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Kansas City Royals versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 150. The Royals plus 125 with the over-under at 7.5. Royals coming into this matchup 75 and 61. Houston 73 and 62. Pitching for the Royals is Cole Reagans with an ERA at 3.34. Pitching for Houston is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA at 4.39. Reagans, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Gucci, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Uh, the Royals on a three-game losing streak. Back-to-back uh, -back losses against Houston. Houston on a three-game winning streak. Uh, Houston, five and two at home. We know the Royals, they've been good against Houston here, but yeah, not this series. Pretty even pitching matchup. Both pitchers giving up a couple runs. Kikuchi been pretty solid for them. Um, I like the Astros though. They're playing well right now. They've looked good against the Royals. Won a close one yesterday, but I think I got to take the Astros at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Chicago White Sox. Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 215. The White Sox uh, plus 170 with the over under at nine. 
Mets coming into this matchup 71 and 64. The White Sox 31 and 105. Pitching for the Mets is Jose Quintana with an ERA of 4.36. Pitching for the White Sox is Davis Martin with an ERA of 2.96. Quintana, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had zero strikeouts. Martin, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. The Mets on a two-game winning streak, beating the White Sox yesterday 5-1. to one. Uh, The White Sox 1-9 and nine in their last 10. The Mets are 6-1 and one against the White Sox. White Sox 0-10 at home. Uh, Davis Martin hasn't been bad for them. He's been pretty good on the mound. Quintana, he's had some rough games. He's coming off a zero-run game. It's two games prior, though. He gave up seven and four runs, so you hope he can stay with that zero-type run game again today. But yeah, I mean, I got to take the Mets. There's just no way I can back the White Sox. Give me the Mets on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Toronto plus 125 with the over-under at 8.5. Toronto coming into this matchup, 65 and 71. The Twins, 73 and 61. Pitching for Toronto is Jose Barrios with an ERA of 3.72. Pitching for the Twins is Zebby Matthews with an ERA of 3.0. Barrios, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Matthews, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Toronto losing to Minnesota yesterday, two to zero, getting shut out. Um, last win for Minnesota, who's been struggling here. Um, I don't know. I mean, I look at this matchup. Matthews has been pretty good on the mound. Barrios has as well. So I think it's a pretty even pitching matchup. Um, I still think Toronto's a good dog today. Uh, got shut out yesterday. I think they bounce back, get some runs, have a quality day. Give me Toronto plus one and a half on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 145. The Braves plus 120 with the over-under at eight. Braves coming into this matchup 74 and 61. The Phillies 79 and 56. Pitching for the Braves is Max Freed with an ERA at 3.50. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 2.74. Freed, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Wheeler, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Atlanta beating the Phillies yesterday 7-2. A nice win for Atlanta here, Lopez. Uh good start on the mound they're six and one on the road five and two against the phillies they've been really good against the phillies here um pretty even pitching matchup both pitchers giving up about two-ish runs and i'm liking the plus money with the braves here look good yesterday give me braves plus one and a half on the road next matchup we got the milwaukee brewers versus the cincinnati reds brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 125 the Reds plus 105 with the over-under at 9. Brewers coming into this matchup 79 and 56. The Reds 64 and 72. Pitching for the Brewers is Frankie Montaz with an ERA of 4.64. Pitching for the Reds is Fernando Cruz with an ERA of 5.17. Montaz, his last start, he pitched 6 innings. Gave up 4 runs. Had 7 strikeouts. Cruz, his last start, he pitched 3 innings. Gave up 1 run. Had six strikeouts. Uh, the Brewers on a four-game winning streak. Beat them in the doubleheader yesterday, 5-4 to four in the first game, and then 14-0 to zero in the second game. A nice, nice game in that second one. They're 7-1 and one on the road against the Reds. 6-1 and one straight up against the Reds here. Brews only pitched once this season. You know, he only pitched the three innings. Gave up one run, looked pretty good. Montas coming off a four-run game, but his two games prior didn't allow a run. Coming off two hot games yesterday, I got to take the Brewers on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Colorado Rockies. Baltimore opening up as road favorites at minus 165. The Rockies plus 130 with the over-under at 11.5. Baltimore coming into this matchup 78 and 58. The Rockies 50 and 86. Pitching for the Baltimore is Dean Kramer with an ERA of 4.31. 
Pitching for the Rockies is Ryan Feltner with an ERA of 5.09. Kramer, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Feltner, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Baltimore beating the Rockies yesterday, five to three. Uh, they are four and two against the Rockies. Uh, Rockies struggling a bit, three and seven in their last ten. Uh, Kramer's been pretty solid on the mound here. Yeah, you know, I like Baltimore here. Looked good yesterday. I like Dean Kramer on the mound. Uh, give me Baltimore on the road. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 130. Arizona plus 110 with the over-under at 9.5. Dodgers coming into this matchup 81-54. Arizona 76 and 59. Pitching for the Dodgers is Gavin Stone with an ERA at 3.06. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA at 3.98. Stone, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Kelly, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Kelly coming off some bad starts here. He's given up 12 runs in his last three. Stone's only given up two. Uh, Dodgers beating Arizona 10-9 yesterday. They're 8-2 in their last 10. Um, yeah, don't love Kelly on the mound. He's coming off some very bad games here. Stone's been very solid. Give me the Dodgers on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Marlins plus 115 with the over-under at 7.5. Marlins coming into this matchup 49-86. and 86. The Giants 68-68. and 68. Pitching for the Marlins is Edward Cabrera with an ERA of 5.60. Pitching for the Giants is Mason Black with an ERA of 8.79. Cabrera, his last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 3 runs. Had 8 strikeouts. Black, his last start, he pitched 3 innings. Gave up 4 runs. Had two strikeouts. Uh, Miami coming off a Giants loss yesterday, three to one. Nice win for the Giants here. They're four and one at home. Cabrera, he's had some rough starts. He's given up 12 runs in his last three. Black's given up 10. Um, I still like the Giants at home here. I think they got a good matchup. Don't love Cabrera on the mound. I'll take the Giants at home. And then the last matchup, we got the Seattle Mariners versus the Los Angeles Angels. Seattle opening up as road favorites at minus 160. Angels plus 130 with the over-under at 8. Uh, Seattle coming into this matchup 69 and 66. The Angels 55 and 80. Pitching for the Mariners is Brian Wu with an ERA at 2.05. Pitching for the Angels is Tyler Anderson with an ERA at 3.47. Wu, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Anderson, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Seattle on a two-game winning streak, beating the Angels yesterday 9-5. to five. Angels just 2-8 and eight in their last 10, been a real struggle. Seattle 6-3 and three on the road against the Angels here. Uh, Wu, been very good on the mound this season. Anderson... Uh, he's given up 14 runs in his last three starts here. Yeah, give me the Mariners on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.